Okay, Seabass, let's talk about doing some of these uh, shots that you're talking about. Um, basically, what I've got here is I've got a scene, and I've got the uh, female scout here. I've got a camera already set up. That's camera one. Okay, and basically what we want to do is through this scene, we want to move the camera around and make it like quick and rapid type um, transitions. And the way that you do this is I've already got the point set up here, okay, where I want the camera to come in and do a close-up on the Fem Scout. So, and I want it to move from here to probably about here in one single step. I don't want it to transition and come around and do a pan and all the rest of that good stuff. I just want it to jump from here, from this scene, to doing a close-up on her face. So the way that I do that is I'm going to go back into the work camera. I have to create an animation set for camera one. To do that I have to select camera one and make it the active camera. Then what I do is I click here and I go to create an animation set for the camera. And as soon as I do that it will put a animation set up in the uh, animation set editor. So now that I've got that completed I can come back into my work camera and I can treat this camera as if it was any other object in the scene. It has its own transitions, it has its own uh, elements that I can manipulate in the actual uh, animation set editor. So what I want to do is I want to bring time from the left and I want the camera to stay in the position that I put it in okay for the entire length of time and we'll get into doing another shot in a second here but this is the first shot that I want to do. I want the camera to come from here over to here do a close-up on the scout in one step. And right now, the way that I have time set up, if I just ramp off that for a second, and I'm not going to keep the ramp, and I move the playhead this way, this line here indicates where the final transaction, or where the final transition is going to uh, end up. So I'm going to bring that playhead back so that there's no ramp. I'm going to grab the transform of the camera. I'm going to change the uh, manipulator to the move manipulator. I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to bring it in. One thing I want the to be able to see the final result, so I have to move my playhead onto the area where the transition is going to take place. I'm going to rotate it. And now what I want to do is I want to look and see what the camera is actually seeing. So I'm going to select it and make it the active camera. And now I'm going to make my minute adjustments. First off, I want it to come up. And what I did there is I held down the left mouse button, pushed the Z key. I want to rotate it a little bit, hold down the left mouse button, and press the R key. And I'm just moving the mouse min minutely to get the shot that I want. And that's pretty much where I want it to go. Now, if you look in the motion editor, what you see is the camera is staying in one place and then all of a sudden it makes a jump and it moves someplace else. And it stays there for the rest of the time. Okay, so now that that's completed, let's see what we've got. And I'm going to go back into the work camera, which is situated above the Fem Scout and you can watch the transition happen. So it moves from that point to that point. Now, because it's a rapid jump, 
there is going to be, as R234 pointed out, a little bit of motion blur from the camera moving from here to here. And even though it's a straight transition in the motion editor, there's still the movement of the camera from there to there and then doing the little bit of rotations to get it into the shot that we wanted. Okay, so I'm going to turn the sound off for a second. From here to probably about, I can't remember how long that transition takes place. Okay, I'm going to look at Fem Scout here. Ah. What I want to do is I want to move the camera from here to here. Or not the camera, sorry, the playhead. So now we've got the Fem Scout and looking at the camera, got her hand up, and I need to come a little bit further in time to when she's starting to drop her hand. Right there. And we're going to make another transition on the camera. And so we have to select the camera. And we have to ramp time back to where we want to make the transition. And I usually mark the places where I'm going to do my transitions with a bookmark. All I did was click on, uh, put the playhead where I want it, and click on the bookmark. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin the camera around about oh, to here. Again you'll notice that it's a very quick transition. It goes from staying in one place to another place and then it stays there for the rest of the time. Now let's see what this camera is looking at now not quite where I want it. So now I have to do the old let's move the camera around. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see what we've got. And then from there we're going to move the camera in time, or uh, the playhead in time again. want to see what this Fem Scout is doing. And we're going to rotate the camera back onto the Fem Scout. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to commit the change that I just made to the camera, like that. And I'm going to put another bookmark in at the playhead. And I'm going to select the camera. And I'm going to bring the playhead over here and let's see what do I want the camera to do now well let's ramp it off and actually have an animation on the camera it's going to be about that long what this ramp does is it allows the camera to actually move so now that we know what in the scene. I can back off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to move it to here and as it moves it's going to rotate so that both the characters are in the scene. So let's have a look at what that animation looks like. So we've got the Fem Scout a little bit far away. Bingo, she's raising her hand. Quick jump to the, uh, to the uh, heavy and then a transition into 
both of them in the scene. Now maybe I want that camera to rotate just a little bit so that it's not so... Now, like that, like that, and back it off again. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to commit that change, turn off the sound, or turn the sound back on. Uh, no, not yet. Bring the playhead back over to zero. Turn the sound back on. And let's see what this looks like. What are you looking at? And that's basically how you move cameras around and make transitions quickly. Like uh, R234 said, if you're going to use one camera and do sharp movements, you're still going to have a little bit of motion blur on the camera in your final rendition. So that's moving one camera around, uh, doing quick transitions, and actually ramping a camera out into an animation. Hopefully this helps, and with that I say Private Jack is out of here.